If you are thinking the difference between BSC food technology and BTEC food technology is like this, then you are wrong. Because in this video, I am going to tell you, hey, what? All right, all right. We are going to tell you the exact difference between BSC food technology and BTEC food technology. So watch this video till the end. So hello guys, my name is Trans. I am a third year student of BTEC Food Technology. So if you end up liking this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon for the future updates. Okay, so for your convenience, I just divided the whole comparison on the basis of first, subject, second, fees, third, career, fourth, jobs and opportunities, fifth, final conclusion and the verdict. That is, which one is better? Starting with the subjects, if you will look side by side the subjects of BSc Food Technology, then we will see that the subjects in BTEC Food Technology is more or less similar to the subjects of BSc Food Technology. See, it may be possible that the subjects may vary according to the semester. That is, if we have to read a specific subject in 5th semester in BTEC Food Technology, it may be possible that the same subject we have to read in 6th semester in BSc Food Technology. Now, you may think, then where is the difference? What is the difference? Then the main difference lie in the practical part. Do you remember when I was covering about the subjects of BTEC food technology semester wise year wise then almost every subjects include practical part. See I am saying almost. I am not saying every subject. And those subjects which include practical part is having more weightage, having more credits which is important for the overall good result. So the conclusion part of subject is subject is more or less similar in BSc food technology and BTEC food technology. The main difference lies in the practical part in BTEC practical is more important as compared to BSc. If any subjects include practical part then its overall weightage its overall credit increase as compared to the normal subject which is not having practical part. See it is nothing like that in BSc practical is not important. But what we are doing here we are comparing between the two that is the reason why I am choosing BTEC over BSc. Now let's differentiate on the basis of fees. See clearly fees is double in the case of BTEC as compared to BSc. Let's take an example if I am paying for BTEC 80,000 rupees then in the case of BSc we have to pay let's say 40 or 45,000 per semester. I am taking an example it may be vary on the basis of colleges and universities. So if you are someone who cannot afford that much of fees but want to pursue your career with food technology then you may go for BSc because when you are not having that much of budget then obviously you will go for a loan which is again a burden for quite a few of you. Don't take me wrong if someone is pursuing his or her career with BSc that doesn't mean it is not they are not having the budget. I am just comparing between the two because we have to pay double fees in BTEC that is the reason why I am choosing BSc as a more affordable course. And yes I will talk about the jobs and opportunities too so stay tuned till the end. Ok so next comparison on the basis of career clearly if you want to go for a teacher in future want to become a lecturer want to become a researcher want to prepare for government jobs like UPSC and other examinations then you may go for BSc and at the same time if you want to go for management studies if you are okay with the industrial works then BTEC is the better option for you. Now you may think that if he or she is unable to crack the exam the government exam then in BTEC they are having good option they are having better option but let me tell you if you are planning to prepare for these examinations then obviously you will drop for two to three years. See after dropping for two to three years, I am talking about the average students like me. So in this case, if you drop for two to three years and after that, if you are looking for a job, then most probably you will not get a job. I am not saying it is impossible, but we have to make sure that years plays an important role until and unless if you are not having source or some contact. Agar normally bole to jogar. See this type of information is very important in 2020 because a lot of resources is already present. Have a look on that. Research accordingly and choose the best for you. And if you have any query feel free to comment down below. Feel free to contact. Now if we compare on the basis of jobs and opportunities then what I assume at this stage because I am a student. Let's take an example of Samsung brand mobile phone specifically. Under Samsung brand there are different models of mobile phone having different specification. Like that consider food technology as a brand and under that brand we are as a model having different specification. Let's say someone is having good communication skills 
then someone is having good management skill someone is having good field work skill then someone is having good overall skills so based on that we will get opportunities we will get jobs from my point of view okay so if you are a student tell me your specification in the comment section come on and with this i am hoping that job and opportunity is pretty much clear for you okay so coming to the most confusing question which one is better see everything is having its own pros and cons but if i have to choose one then i will go for btech but don't forget btech is also having its cons see here again i am saying what we are doing we are comparing between the two that is the reason i have to choose one over the other but we have to make sure that everything is having its own pros and cons the only thing we have to make sure that how much the cons part is affecting an individual so the final conclusion is if you want to go for a higher studies if you want to become a lecturer if you want to become a researcher having budget problem we may also consider this want to prepare for government jobs then definitely go for bsc and if you want to go for management studies if you are okay with private jobs if you are okay with industrial work then go for btech at last again i am saying that it is nothing like comparison if you are from bsc then you cannot go for industrial work and if you are from btech then you cannot go for lecturer and researcher it is nothing like that it's totally depend upon the individuals so with this we come to the end of the comparison so hope you got what i am trying to convey here if yes like this video share this video with your friends and family thanks for watching see you soon in my next video love you all